You, you know, you talk about uh, two Americas, it's a populist message, but, but you're a real rich guy. Uh, take a look, we have some pictures of your house you're building uh, right near Chapel Hill, $3 million mansion. Um, that image, when you juxtapose that against uh, an effort to, to work with the poor, look at it, it's a, it's a big house. Is, is, that, a, is that image uh, a hard thing to get around for you as you try to make this appeal that you're a man of the people, of the poor people? Well, first of all, I'm glad you like my house. Uh, you know, I, I've uh, I, I've been very lucky in my life. I've always said that uh, uh, I've had everything you could ever have in this country. Uh, it's not where I come from. It's not the place that my life started. I started in a very different place, and uh, I start down joke with everybody about being the son of a mill worker because everybody's heard that so much they're sick of it now. But uh, the truth is that there's a lot of good to, good to be done about the two different Americas that exist in this country today, the, the vivid example being here in New Orleans. And instead of just talking about the problem and complaining about it, I want to see us actually do something about it. We, you know, in the last couple of years, we've actually gotten the minimum wage raised in six states. We've made college available to kids who are willing to work for it. Uh, we've gotten workers organized around the country so that they can earn a decent wage. All of those are efforts to try to bridge some of the divide that still exists in this country. I think there's a lot left to do.